Hi guys, welcome to Luxa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to install Grafana on AWS EC2 instance. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before starting the lab session, we need to understand few points, which is what is Grafana and its use cases. So here you can see that I have a grafana.com slash dog Grafana and where is clearly mentioned Grafana is open source is an open source visualization and analytics software. It allows you to query and visual alerts on and explore your metrics, log, trace, no matter where they are stored. It provides you with tools to turn your time series database data into insightful graph and visualization. So it's it's a very very interesting tool and it's a multi-platform open source tool and uh, uh, it provides your charts, graph and alerts for the web when connected to the supported database. So let's begin the lab session and we'll see how we can install Grafana on Linux machine. So guys, I'm on my AWS console and currently I'm in my Mumbai region and here you can see if I refresh this dashboard, currently you can see there is a no EC2 instance on running condition, right? So let me launch first EC2 instance first and then I will install Grafana on that machine, right? So click on the launch instance and let me launch with simple GRA FANA Grafana server, simple instance. So if you scroll down, you can go with any Linux, I'll go with Amazon Linux. If you scroll down, I'll go with the T2 macro for this lab. Key pair, if you have the existing one, you can go with that one. Otherwise, you can create with the new key pair from here. I'll scroll down, networking setting, I'll go with the default security group, which allow only SSS traffic, right? Later on, I will add few more ports. So I just simply click on launch instance and this will launch a one simple easy to instance for me. So click on the instance and let it be refreshed. Here Grafana server is ready for us, right? It's in pending condition within a few seconds it will be up and running condition, right? So if I click on the security and if I scroll down here you will see that uh, default security group which is launched with JavaScript 2. So if I click on this one and if I scroll down here you will see that only one port which is by default SSH is allowed. So let me add few port which is important for Grafana point of view. Click on edit inbound rule and add a rule custom port that is 3000, 3000 right. 3000 is used for Grafana. Go with the default cider block and scroll down and save it. So I just add uh, here we have successfully modified our security group and allow port. 3000 which is used by the Grafana, right? Scroll down here you can see SSH and 3000 for Grafana. Okay, we're well, back on EC2 dashboard. Let me refresh. So now one is in up and running condition. So this is Grafana and it is in up and running condition, right? Now wow. Now move to the next step. In the next step, we need to create IEM role and policy. So policy will allow us permission to list and get CloudWatch metrics and to describe our EC2 instance. So let me move to the IEM dashboard for create our policies and role. Let me open a new tab. So scroll down, let me click on the policy. Let me create a new policy, click on the create policy. And here I need to give the permissions, right? So for policy creation, let me go with the documentation. Google, say, add CloudWatch. I want to use CloudWatch. OUD CloudWatch data source to Grafana. So I'm creating a policy where CloudWatch I'm using as a data source for Grafana. You can go with Prometheus or you can go with n number of data sources supported by the Grafana. So manually add CloudWatch as data source. So you can add CloudWatch as a data source for Grafana and if I scroll down here the policy, IEM policy. So they are saying that Grafana needs permission granted through IEM to be able to read CloudWatch metrics, tag, instance and region. You can attach this permission to IEM role and use the built-in Grafana support for assuming the role. So let me copy the entire policy from here and click on the JSON. Let me remove this folder one paste it and let me set remove this blank entry click on the next okay give the policy name 
So I'll give the policy Grafana policy and description Grafana access. That's it. Now scroll down. These are the services which allow on the base of this policy CloudWatch, Log, EC2, right? Let it be create the policy. Okay, already exist using the same name. Okay, not a big deal. Let me go with Grafana policy 2. Okay, let me go with this time. Yes, Grafana policy 2 is successfully created. Now move to the next step, which is create IAM role and attach this my custom policy to this role. So click on the create role, scroll down, select the use case that is EC2, scroll down, next, and select your policy. So I said Grafana, Grafana, scroll down, yeah, Grafana policy 2 is there, let it be select, next, role name, I said G-R-A-F-A-N-A, Grafana role. And allow EC2 instance to call AWS services on your behalf. That means after creation this role, I need to attach this role to, to my EC2 instance, right? So create the role. So you can see Grafana role is successfully created. Click on the view role, and there you can see my Grafana policy is attached, right? Let's go back on EC2 instance, select go on the action, security, modifying IAM role, and select your Grafana role. Here it is. Update the IAM role. Successfully attach Grafana role to stars. Okay, let it be cross check verify one more time. EC2 dashboard. Let it be refresh running. And if I scroll down here, the role should be there. Yep, here is the Grafana role. Right. So, guys, I have successfully created a policy and I created the IAM role which allow my EC2 instance to access the Grafana activities and we are using the CloudWatch data source and uh, in the next step, I need to access my EC2 instance and install Grafana, right? So, let me connect to this EC2 instance first. Click on the connect. Connect. And for installation, I'll go again with the documentation. GRAFA and Grafana, download. Download Grafana, Grafana Labs and uh, here it is so version you can go with the default or any one version so i'll go with 10.2 which is the latest one and enterprise edition is the default and recommendation edition right so i'll go with that one now you can select your uh, platform linux windows mac or docker so i'll go with the linux platform and i scroll down here is the complete rpm part so let me copy this one copy and go to my EC2 instance. Let me log in the group and paste it. That's it. So basically, this command will install Grafana Enterprise 10.2 on my machine, right? Let it be complete. Once it's complete successfully, we will enable and enable and start the Grafana services also, right? It's working. Yep, now it's successfully done. Let me enable the services, enable Grafana, I found up on now. And now time to check the status. So let it be done first. Done. Now move to the system CTL status. Okay, it's active and running and enable also. Good. Now let me check the port status. UNLP by Gref Grafana. Oh, great. Here you can see Grafana port is open and ready for this in the Grafana query, right? So, guys, now move to the final step, which is test Grafana. So, to test our server, we will need to grab our public IP and add column 3000 at the end and insert it into our browser URL. This will bring you to a login screen and your username password will be the admin, which is the default one. So once you will be prompt to create a new password once you are logged into the first time. So let's do it. Let me copy the public IP of this EC2 instance. Open new tab, colon 3000, press enter. Wow, that's good. Loading Grafana, 
give the username as admin and the password default is admin okay you want to change that one you can change it here if you don't want to do that you can skip it i skip it later on i will change wow this is my dashboard so finally this is my grafana dashboard we now have grafana store and have logged into the grafana web server from here we can add a dashboard and data sources so you can import the data sources and number data data sources are put by the grafana later on an upcoming video i will let you know how to add the data source and create your custom dashboard or you can go with the available dashboard right so which is available in grafana labs so that's all about this demo finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please reach out to my social media link which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye